It's going to be game one, and and is going for the villagers. So Chag is just going to respond with the Palutena. This is a very, very difficult matchup for villager. I know uh, Panda Bear, one of the most, foremost villagers in the United States, has been said that this is one of Pan uh, this is one of villagers' two worst matchups alongside Game and Watch. So we we'll have to see how this one turns out. And already a couple of nares from Chag is just going to take control. Palutena has such a complete kit in this game. Not only the Nair, as a lot of people give her credit for, but an invincible dash attack. Such a large grab range that Ford Smash if it's ill-advised, although it would put on the shield pressure, but into the explosive flame. Down Smash will bury, though. That tilt takes him out. Back and goes offstage with an air as well, so Ant has to be careful. Uses that high recovery with the Lloyd Rocket, but once again going to be caught in that explosive flame and almost did the first off. And now Chag has just been happy to use that explosive flame. It's been an option he's relied on for the entirety of his first set. He's just going to approach with a fair one. to go for the down air to spike, but did do a much of a veteran move. That back throw almost doing it. Going to be rejoined by Vance in just a moment. Sets up the tree in center stage, so haven't been able to see Ant do that much for the close range explosive flame. You just see Chag knowing this matchup, doing the best to attack the tree so it's just out of the way. It's kind of funny too when you think about it too, because one of the things that hasn't changed for Villager is the way he's played from the last game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you kind of knew how to fight Villager from last game, it's more or less the same. Right. One of the biggest changes that Villager has received is perhaps several buffs to the connection of Up Smash, so we might see Ant go for that a couple of times. I know that was supposedly fixed in 5.0.0 to where the hits will connect better, but a lot of villager mains that I know still say that it still doesn't fully connect even after several patches, so who knows. My favorite meme out of every patch was Dunkle for the faster. Yes. That was, that was the classic thing. That is more of a buff, actually, able to actually have more knockback. I mean, that's the percent that I'm using that. I'm sorry, I'm probably that. Oh, Tree at the Legend had almost no invulnerability at that percent. That's going to be the first stock, but it took until 197 to do it. Oh, that was a great setup there. Mm -hmm. He kind of was ready for to see how he was going to react to the grab and then set up Tree. I think he just, that's the farthest, about the farthest extent to which you can water the Tree. He was like several feet away, but still managed to get the hitbox out to throw it. And that lingering up smash from Chag just gonna do that second stock dirty. It lasts for 16 whole frames, which is insane to think about. Yeah, hits below the stage mm. as well. Hits above him, in front of him. It's got a pretty big range. You might as well call it the ray of light because it's definitely sending you up to the light. It doesn't really have too much downside because it has a, almost no end lag. It has some startup, which I guess is one of the disadvantages, but besides that, if you can get it charged, then why not just go for it? You don't have to say it too, man. We all can't have a perfect move without some kind of startup or end line. Right. At least with the grab, though. Nice. Gets the full jab here. I do see Aaron trying to set up for a couple back there. Sometimes the one thing that's kind of in the beat of his, uh, of his in the matchup here is the fact that Chad is actually able to catch Ant in the startup of the full or the back there. Reflector. Oh, I would I would have thought he would have gone for the reflect, but I wouldn't know if it would register as a hitbox or a projectile. Yeah, I believe you can reflect it. I believe you can also pocket the um. Too bad for you. I know you can pocket it when reflected. Yeah. So I thought he was gonna reflect it to see if Han was gonna be sent off stage and then go for an, a niche card there, but I guess it just went for the safer down tilt bet. Right. It's gonna be on to Smashville for game two. Probably not signifying the change to Inkling for Chag just yet. Going to be the same matchup. This is one of Villager's worst matchups in general, just because Palutena is so deadly at the mid range. Yeah. And the one thing that you do have is mid range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, when a character definitely much more deadly than you in mid range. The one thing that Villager does have is set up some traps here, and that's what we kind of saw a little bit reliant on last matchup, right? I'm sorry, last game. So, we'll see, we'll see how things go. Hopefully for Ant, you will definitely be seeing a couple more setups here. Uh, like he said, right, Palutena much more destructive in the range. It's good for Ant to also understand the range and when Palutena is able to use things like Explosive Flame, Autoretical, approaching it with Nair. 
Another disadvantage that Ant might have in this particular matchup is that his grab range is one of the worst in the game, and he's playing a character with one of the best grabs in the game. So yeah. even when he's in shield, might not be safe. Buff grab. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like there are some there are some characters in this game. Where I just don't like. How can you? How can the grab be this bad? I mean, we all saw that clip at Defend the North where, like, Leon was uh, the buzzer light was right in Leon's face and just didn't get grabbed. Yeah. Link, Link has a pretty terrible grab. I'm not gonna lie, I'm meaning the character myself. It's just like, I swear to you, my grab would work if it could. I think a lot of Link mains are just used to the tether grab in general, but. Nah, I'm, I'm telling you, man, as an honest, as an honest Link main right here. Fair enough. <laughs> it's got, it's, this range is boo boo. Close range explosive flame almost taking him off the top. Did well to not drift into the second one, though, but the invincible dash attack will take him back to the left. Yeah, a uh, little bit of impeccability there. It, only on the arm, Palutena is susceptible to actually getting hit by the feet um, in some cases, especially with backer. It's much more prevalent in backer than when you were with the attack. Flex away the Lloyd Rocket, but that gives Ant the time to approach with a down air. For another down air and sets up the tree at the ledge. He's going to use one hit on the axe to just prepare Ooh. for himself, but yeah. waited at the spot dodge, and now Chag can't get these juggles going. Look, if I were Chag, man, I'd be happy Charlie the King is not here. <laughs> because uh, there is no Charlie that's going to stop this guy today. Oh, a little bit of a range too short. I respect it, though, because if he would have gone to the ledge, right, the bowling ball was a bit right there in play. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's... It's a forced error, I guess you could call it. It's not an SD there. Yeah, definitely not an SD. He like a spirit. He's like, hold on. He goes below the auto reticle. Ooh. Up smash mm. interrupted during startup too. Yeah, and you mentioned it earlier too. It's pretty solid. Part one of the drawbacks here to startup is not the greatest. Mm. Wave dash is back on top of the platform. Use the air dodge to just get around. I know that down tilt has so many active frames, so it can be used as a two framing tool. Or Ant just wants no part of that. Could use a reflect. <laughs> what a trade in spaces there from Ant. Oh, Definitely gonna take that stage advantage over Chad for sure. Went high in the teleport recovery two times in a row. So he didn't have enough time to get the Lloyd Rocket out. And the up tilt will pop him up. Ant is starting to make this percentile. Yeah. He is just pretty much a kill setup away from coming back and probably taking the stock. Gonna go for that extra low recovery. You mentioned it, the active frame from two down tilt is good, but Chag was a little bit unspaced in that for its account. Waited out the down smash and got the kill immediately after Ant going to be punished for a bit of that hasty option right there. Although, as I say it, this time he does get that forward smash, the bowling ball dropping down, and Palutena had just no invulnerability to protect herself. You mentioned it earlier too, right? Like you can you can grab the Lloyd and pocket it if you're a villager, but that's one thing we have not seen from Ant at all. Oh, but he oh, oh he was on that stage. was great. That was great. He no, not only that, he probably di towards the stage. That's what I'm expecting. So, as well, yeah, yeah. di towards the stage so you can tech it as a stage tech. Well played. And that's a bit of a case where I think if it was on like the first or second stock, he might just not have had the time to react to that. But because we saw the freeze frame there for that final kill, he just might have had enough time to set that up. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this man is definitely pulling all the tricks in the bag there, trying to make sure it comes back on the stage. Chad looking like the Great Wall of Mexico here, just not letting him come back. And the down smash did Ant steal this away! What is going on? What? Man, I can see the fuck that Chad is scratching his head too. I, he had to adjust his glasses after that one. I said at what percent? <laughs> well, and, and that's what we kind of saw him, like you said, right? It wasn't an SD. It was more of a mutual respect. Like, I saw the bowling ball there. I don't want to get hit. That's why I had to take the L in that course. But in this case, he had nowhere to go but up. And unfortunately, the bowling ball was going to go down. Yeah, he had the normal get up covered with a tree, and mm -hmm. I think he had to anticipate that Ant was trying to cover a roll, but that time he just waited, and that, that F smash did it. Yep. It just worked. So Ant is going to force a game three against the number two seed here, Chag, and back to town and city. Good parry. I like the fact he's going for near, but unfortunately you should see more of the cross up. That time the dash attack will come back. Goes high with the Lloyd Rocket, but again, that's going to be two free up airs for Chag. Okay, we 
talked about earlier, right? The mid range here between Villager and Palatine. And we're starting to see it. And feeling a little bit more confident going for these uh, forward airs and back airs. He's making this offstage his home, but as I say, it gets caught in the long range explosive flame, jumps out of the second one, but oh, no. only into another. The one is living from that much percent, too. He has to go extra low for the recovery. And I like the fact that he kind of fakes himself out back to the ledge there, trying to survive, mm -hmm. making sure both balloons don't get popped. Down We're grabbing the game, man. <laughs> it's definitely coming out to play. Well, there you go. Cycles him off of the air and. Oh. I feel like he is his hurt box with one of the moves. I feel like that's what happens. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't. I think it might have been back air forward air. I don't know which move would extend the hurt box out there. I couldn't see that from that bar. You didn't, like, well, I said, we said earlier, right? You want, if you're that far from the line, from the stage, directional air dodge, you have enough time to fan lag, right? To come back. Especially with a good recovery like the ledger. And I think Chag is just taking that into account because he managed to cover it that second time. Mm -hmm. Cycles him off with an air and the up air as well. The second one connects with the ending frames. He's making that game, that game three. Sorry, that game two looks more like a fluke with this such a big percent lead. Too. He's already lapped him in percent as well. Yeah. No cross up. Gets him into the rapid jab though. Dash attack. I think if that would have just been spaced a little bit better, that potted plant might have got him off stage, might have tripped him up, but it hit the very ledge of the stage. And like that kind of comes sneaks back in with the directional air dodge. A lot of time being set up with those forward airs too. I kind of want to see this thing maybe a little bit more grindy. I mentioned earlier too, right? Uh, well, we both did. The mid range here is that's one thing that Palatine is able to hopefully exceed against the litter. Mm -hmm. So having more setups with the tree would have been nice to have seen. Good DI on the down throw. Did not want the back air follow up to come out and does get the fair to pop him off stage. Perhaps another one might kill. There's a parry. Oh, that was such a. That was such a big, like, overzealous forward smash, but I respect it, too. Crashes into the stage, although too early the dash attack to connect from Chag. Another one will take him off the top. Three stocks to one here, and feeling the wrath of Chag here, man. You could tell he was more upset than anything that last game. Mm -hmm. He's like, excuse me, sir, the script was written here. I was supposed to win 2-0, no Charlie the king of the venue. Where is my ticket to grand finals? Oh, I, that, yeah, that's, this is going to be pretty tough here for him. Still able to come back, though. Does two-frame him with the F-tilt right as he's getting knocked, but even that won't kill. <laughs> I, did, I did like a little bit of patience there right there at the position at the ledge because he was looking to see if he could get an edge guard there right. with reading the positioning here. But now at up two the stocks, at one stocks to two is Chags. It's going to be quite the hill to climb, man, but the journey of a thousand miles begins at the first step and hopefully makes it back here with the stage. That being his first seven. Hopefully he does have a way to make it back off stage, but does cover himself with the wall hop. But again, into the air, and I think one more might just be the game and set for Chag. Single down there. I'll tell you that's not going to be just yet. I just have a tremendous amount of great DI so far, and that's going to be really way down throw the up air. Mm -hmm. Reads the DI here against Ant, and Chag will take it to one. Excellent work. I think Chag just used his glasses as a magnifying glass right there because Ant just got fried in that third game. Oh, yeah. He, he adjusted them for a reason. He's like, hold on. I'm telling you, man, he looked at the script. He's like, excuse me, sir. It was